Now, much like you've seen us do in the past on this channel, we're going to go ahead and fire up the radio and then stick around and we'll get right to it. Today, let's take a look at the uh, Luence, Lance, not sure how to say that, HA1G GMRS radio. This radio features 30 pre-programmed GMRS channels and 220 customizable channels. It has a 2800 milliamp hour battery and uses USB-C for recharging. In addition, it offers an IP67 rating, meaning it can handle being submerged for 30 minutes in one meter of water. It can also monitor NOAA weather radio frequencies as well as FM broadcast radio. Full power output on this radio is 5 watts. So taking a look at the radio, you can see that it does have a very nice display on it. Uh, it's pretty much a basic layout, just like you would expect from any radios similar to this. Uh, pressing the menu button will take you into the menu settings so that you can change various things. We'll go ahead and press exit for now. We do have uh, the antenna up top, the channel selection button right here beside it, so we can cycle through the channels with this one button. And then, of course, we have the volume knob and it serves as also the on-off switch. Over on the side, we have a nice PTT button and a couple of function buttons here. I believe these can be programmed in the software. Taking a look at the other side of the radio, we have a screw-on cover here that gives it some additional waterproofing. And then on the back of the battery, we have a USB-C plug for recharging. Right beside that, you'll notice a little LED light that will come on and give us an indication that it is charging. One thing that I failed to mention earlier is we do have this little orange button here. That is the uh, help call button. So pressing it uh, will give us an alarm that gets sent out over RF. Now, one thing that is definitely a downside for me and something I would like to see them fix on this radio, this is not a detachable antenna. So trying to turn it to get it off, well, it just doesn't happen. And to me, this is a bad oversight because if we could remove this antenna and connect it to something like a roll-up J-pole or some other type of external antenna, that would make this particular HT a lot more useful. So I hope to see them come out with another one of these that does have a removable antenna. Now, there might be some that argue the uh, non-detachable antenna is part of the waterproofing. But if you guys remember, I just did a recent video on the Redivus RA89 radio, which had great waterproofing capabilities, and it does come with a detachable antenna. So I know it's possible, and I think it's just more of an oversight with this particular radio. Now, much like you've seen us do in the past on this channel, we're going to go ahead and fire up the radio and then let's let it sit at the bottom of that bucket for about 10 minutes and we'll see how it works when it comes out. All right, now that that radio has been submerged for 10 minutes, let's pull it out. Screen looks good. We'll go ahead and walk out into the grass here, get away from that receiving transmitter or receiving uh, FT using the FT5 to receive this one. We'll go ahead though and flip this around and let's give this a quick test. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. After the GMRS radio has been submerged for 10 minutes, what is the transmit quality like? Testing clear. Another 10 minute bath here. Let's see what this thing sounds like after it's been submerged for another 10 minutes. Let's see, can we get a shot maybe of the screen? It's still on, everything looks good. Let's try not to get the microphone wet. We'll set that over there. And I'm going to walk out here just a little way so we can do another one of these transmit tests. I keep forgetting with this camera which way to look. Do I look right there or do I look down here? It's all confusing. All right, stand by. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. What is the receive audio quality like after it's been submerged for 10 minutes? Testing clear. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the test equipment to test the power output of this radio because it doesn't have that removable antenna. 
Who's this radio for exactly? Well, if you want a really rugged radio that's plug and play out of the box, maybe to hand off to the kids and the grandkids to use around camp or to use kayaking, this is a great radio. If you're looking for something that is a bit more capable where you can use it not only as an HT, but maybe also as a base radio when you're in something like an RV, in that particular case, I would want the removable antenna. Uh, and unfortunately, this model just doesn't offer that. But still a great radio. The waterproofing definitely held up to what it says in the advertising. So with that, uh, I would say yes. It's definitely a rugged radio that you could hand off to the kids and grandkids and not have to worry about coming back in one piece. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you found the information helpful, be sure to leave us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.